Hi all. The oyster mushroom expert is with you. I ended the previous video by telling you that when you fill raw materials with hot water at a high temperature of about 90 degrees Celsius, you definitely need to monitor the temperature of the substrate. Today I will explain why this is important and what type of substrate defect you may have if you do not do this. I want to ask you, if you like my videos and they are useful for you, tell other mushroom growers in your country about my channel. Give a link to my videos in group of mushroom growers on WhatsApp or social networks. I will be very grateful to you. If your hydrothermal tank is not insulated, the water quickly cools down and the substrate does not have time to heat up to 68 degrees Celsius throughout the entire volume. That is, near the walls of the container the bags are cooled and that part of the substrate that touches the wall has a temperature lower than on the other side of the bag. In addition, the water cools as it reaches the center of each bag. If you don't see what the temperature is there, how will you know whether you need to heat the water yet or not? When you remove the bags after heat treatment, you have areas of unheated substrate. There are a lot of living spores there, which have already begun to swell and develop after the substrate has cooled. And you mix this part on the table with grain spawn and other raw materials that have been well heated. And thus you infect the entire husk even the part where it was 70 degrees Celsius. There are these electronic thermometers that stick into the substrate. The all of this sensor will enter the substrate a maximum of 10 centimeters. This is not enough. You won't know the temperature in the center of the bag. Additionally, you need to open the tank cap to use this sensor. This is very inconvenient, since the water is hot and the steam will come straight into your face. Therefore, I recommend buying real temperature sensors. They are called immersion thermocouple or thermocouple with immersion probe. Now let's look at the answer to the question is it possible to immediately fill the raw materials with hot water without soaking? Yes, this is possible if you have pure raw materials. The temperature in the center of each bag of raw materials is 67 to 72 degrees Celsius. Blocks without defects after overgrowing. True substrate humidity 68 to 69 percent. You can use a substrate with a humidity of 70 percent if there are no defects and the blocks have good fruiting bodies. Mushroom growers also ask, is it possible to pour in hot water and not drain the water after heat treatment? So that the raw materials lie in this water for another 7 to 10 hours and are well saturated with water. Of course, the substrate will be saturated with water during this time. But, you don't know what microbes will grow during this time. But you can conduct an experiment, try to do this and you will find out what comes out of it. Will there be stability? Or one time everything will be okay, but another time the substrate will be defective. Soaking in water before heating the raw materials is necessary precisely for a stable result, work without defects. The next question is cooling with cold water. Some mushroom growers want to save time and, after draining the hot water, immediately pour in cold water and drain it. In this way the substrate cools quickly. Some mushroom growers believe that this washes away the mythical readily available food. They say that the substrate contains carbohydrates that disappear with cold water. But this is impossible. Even if the substrate contains carbohydrates, for example, starch from pieces of grain, it is practically insoluble in water, and bacteria in hot water will not process it into soluble substances. That is, I believe that rinsing with cold water will do more harm than good, since when washed with cold water, water from the structure of the substrate, the so-called bound water, will come to its surface. 
you will have a lot of free water, which will settle as a thin film on each particle of the substrate. It is this water that then flows down the corners of the block if you washed it with cold water. But, if everything works out for you, the humidity is normal, the water does not drain, the yield is good, of course, you can rinse with cold water. But, I haven't seen such mushroom growers. On the contrary, I often met mushroom growers who washed the substrate with cold water and abandoned this method. Because they didn't succeed. I believe that slow cooling is very important because the water stays inside the substrate as moisture. This is in contrast to rapid cooling, where moisture condenses. After draining the hot water, I recommend leaving the raw materials in the container for at least 4-5 to five hours. It is advisable to open the tank lid to speed up the cooling process. If you have a place where you place the bags for cooling, after 4-5 to five hours you can remove the substrate from the reservoir. No matter what the temperature is in the bags, you can lay it out on pallets or on a table. Here you can see that these bags are close enough together that they continue to cool slowly. The room should be quite warm, at least 10 to 12 degrees Celsius. Better yet, 15 to 17 degrees. If there are a lot of bags, they will warm each other and heat the room itself. They cool slowly, 6 to 8 hours, if you select the operating mode so that you remove these bags at night, they will cool until the morning. And in the morning you will begin inoculation, introducing mycelium into the substrate. One more question. Is it possible to reuse the hot water that we drain from the tank? I will answer this question in a separate video. I also want to say about a substrate with high humidity. Dry substrate has one problem, low yield even in the first flush. Mushrooms are 94 to 95 percent water, and if there is not enough moisture, they will not be able to develop. But, a waterlogged substrate causes many different problems. I looked at them in detail in another video. Link in the description below this video. Today I will show you these ugly mushrooms. Water accumulates in the corners of the bag and such mushrooms form. Insects lay eggs in such a substrate more often than in a substrate with optimal humidity. Also, in a waterlogged substrate, there are spots like these where the mycelium does not germinate. I want to emphasize that waterlogging of the substrate can not only be due to heat treatment. An incorrect climate in the incubator can cause water separation in the block. It comes from the center under the film. But we will look at this in another video. That's all for today, bye everyone.